Why container garden? I get asked this question all the time. With unlimited growing space and too many raised beds for one person to grow stuff in, why do I still choose to grow in pots and containers? The answer to that is easy, because I like to. But also, in some cases, they actually do a better job of growing your crops. Let's find out why. Container gardening is fantastic. And this video is meant to wholeheartedly endorse that. But it can also have some drawbacks, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a few of them. When gardening in containers, you can have high initial costs with those extra soils and fertilizers, and even the containers themselves. This type of gardening can also be a little bit limiting for those crops that need a large growing area. And lastly, when growing in pots and containers, they do tend to dry out more because it's a smaller base of soil. And that starts a vicious cycle of having to continuously water and wash that soil and wash those nutrients out and then having to replenish them. So there's more added costs right there. So with those disadvantages acknowledged and accepted, let's go ahead and look at the benefits of container gardening. First up, Let's just throw this out there. These guys have zero weeds. Well, not necessarily zero, but pretty darn close. Container gardening usually uses new soil mixes with every crop. Thus, the chances of soil-borne weed seeds getting a hold is quite low. So, if the nagging habit of weeding row after row of a garden plot or garden bed after garden bed is getting you down, Consider this a plus one on the container gardening side of the ledger. The second benefit of container gardening is that other than giant and movable pots, we now have mobile plants. Having mobile plants allows us to move them around the garden to where they grow best, where we can find those microclimate conditions that these guys were designed to exploit in the first place. So be it more sun, more shade, you know, partial sun, partial shade. Or in the case of this shepherd, long tooth sweet pepper, more sun, more heat, and a south exposure. We can use this mobility to grow better plants for longer, especially as the nights are colder and the 24 hour range of temperatures increases. The third benefit of container gardening is versatility. Not everyone has half an acre to garden on or unlimited raised beds to work with. Carefully planned and strategic growing of plants in pots can often put the apartment gardener or condo grower on the same playing field as their farmer friends. Nearly every crop can grow in the right size pot with the right soil and the right environmental conditions. So container gardening allows the space challenge grower to stop saying, I just don't have the space. Hopefully through the course of this video, I've been able to outline the benefits of growing in pots and containers while still observing that there can be some drawbacks. Ultimately, it's up to you to grow with what you know and what you're comfortable with, but I strongly suggest you give container gardening a try. You might be surprised at just how productive it is. Oh man, one more benefit I almost forgot. Controlling the invaders. Some plants, even our most beloved crops such as rosemary or mint, should be left in pots or containers. If set loose, these guys can quickly take over a garden in short order. Hey, if I forgot any of the benefits to container gardening or even some of the drawbacks, leave a comment down below. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.